This video is about file level encryption. Before we begin, if you are not familiar with the concept of encryption, please check out the introduction to encryption video before proceeding. Unlike disk level encryption, which automatically encrypts all files on your hard disk for full disk encryption, or a section of the files for partition encryption, file level encryption requires you to manually encrypt individual files. But when do you need to do this? You should use file encryption if your file contains sensitive information and you're not storing it in a protected storage system, such as an encrypted drive or an encrypted cloud storage system. Or you are using an encrypted storage space but need an additional layer of security. Or you are transmitting the file over an unsecure network or the website you are transmitting to does not use a secure transmission protocol. Now that you know when to encrypt sensitive files, the first step to actually doing this is knowing if the file is sensitive or not. You can start by asking yourself these questions. If the information was on paper instead of digital, would I shred it before recycling it? Could there be terrible repercussions for me or my research participants if the file contents were leaked or exposed? Is the information defined as sensitive by Bryn Mawr's data handling policy, the Institutional Review Board, or another governing body? If the answer to any of these questions is yes, then you have a sensitive file and it must be encrypted. Some software you can use for file encryption include Kika for Max, GNU Privacy Guard, and 7-Zip, which is pre-installed on all college-owned computers. Check out these videos for more information on the following encryption topics.